Jack Doherty. He was once a YouTube sensation, the kid who took over the internet with simple fun stunts like bottle flips and lighthearted challenges. A rising star with millions of fans watching his every move. But as Jack's fame skyrocketed, so did his need for more extreme content. Today, Jack isn't just known for his viral videos. He's become a magnet for controversy, leaving many of his former fans wondering what happened to the Jack Doherty they used to know. One of the most alarming incidents that truly shocked his audience happened during a live stream. Jack, distracted by his phone while reading messages from his chat, lost control of his car and crashed. But it wasn't just the crash that disturbed viewers. It was Jack's response. His cameraman, bleeding and injured from the accident, was handed the camera to keep recording. Jack showed little concern for his friend's well-being, more worried about capturing the moment and the damage to his car than the safety of the people around him. Fans were outraged. How could someone prioritize content over the safety of another human being? The incident left viewers questioning whether Jack had lost sight of what really matters, turning his life and the lives of those around him into a constant chase for viral moments, no matter the cost. Then there's Jack's infamous security guard, another source of controversy in his videos. As Jack's content became more public and aggressive, he started hiring a large bodyguard to accompany him during his pranks. The problem? This security guard didn't just protect Jack, he often escalated situations. There have been multiple instances where Jack's pranks push people to the edge, and when they react negatively, his security guard steps in sometimes getting physical. Some fans argue that Jack uses his security guard as a weapon to provoke and intimidate others during these pranks. Away. No, bro. No, no, no. You're no. Just, wait, show, wait, I know, I've seen this clip. Let me show you on the night. Let me show you on the clip. No, 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 don't. Come on, come on. This is what you were avoiding by me walking away. That's what you were avoiding. Okay, but I'm just saying. Yeah, wait, come back here, come back here. Come behind the couch, trust. Me walking away is the best case scenario. Of course. For everyone. Ain't nothing small about your security, bro. Nothing. I know, I'm not, it's not about See that? Y'all thought I was capping? And he stops and lo looks at us low key, but he, run he starts sprinting towards the Denny's. He starts sprinting towards the fucking Denny's. What used to be playful pranks are now being seen as mean-spirited, leaving many feeling uncomfortable and concerned. Jack's content also shifted to more public harassment-style pranks. From disturbing people in public spaces to barging into stores and bothering employees, his pranks are no longer seen as fun. They're viewed as harassment. Now, yo, what's up? What's up? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, little bro? What you gonna do? Uh-oh, he's mad. Uh-oh. What are you gonna do, little bro? Where we at? Where we at? What? Little bro, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. With each video, Jack seems to be more focused on getting reactions, regardless of the discomfort or harm he's causing. These stunts have blurred the line between comedy and cruelty, with many fans and viewers saying Jack has gone too far. The public isn't laughing anymore, they're frustrated, and some are even scared by his actions. But what's interesting is that Jack wasn't always like this. His journey began with innocent bottle flip videos and simple challenges. Jack was just a kid having fun on YouTube, entertaining millions with harmless content. But as his fame grew, 
he transitioned into the world of IRL streaming, where things quickly took a darker turn. With IRL streaming, Jack started pushing boundaries, getting involved in more dangerous stunts and pulling crazier pranks. The stakes got higher, but so did the risks, both to himself and to others. Fans who watched Jack grow from a fun-loving YouTuber to a controversial figure have been left wondering what changed. Perhaps one of the most concerning aspects of Jack's recent content is his involvement with OnlyFans models. Jack has been criticized for promoting adult content to his audience, which by all accounts consists primarily of kids and teenagers. Not only has he been seen partnering with OnlyFans girls, but there are even rumors that he helps promote their accounts. My ex, Jack Doherty, is always trying to make me jealous with his new girlfriend, McKinley. So today, I made it my mission to trick McKinley into thinking Jack and I are showering together. To make sure this goes correctly, I need a plan. So first, I got the grossest thing I could find to dump on Jack. Then, I made sure he was ready for the day so I could execute this perfectly. Then, when he wasn't looking, I did this. What the fuck? What are you doing? Sorry! Give me that shit! No! Bro, now I have to change and everything. Oh. That's why I never liked you. You're gonna that now that he's all wet and dirty, that forces him into the shower. And that's when... What is going on, bro? Uh, nothing. What are you doing? No, I it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Why are you guys in the shower together? Why are we in the shower together? Bro, because I, I don't know. She forced oh I, I... How many pumps does it take to explode the world's largest prime bottle? <laughs> We started by completely deflating the prime bottle so that there was no air in it. And then I had to get an OF girl that was really good at blowing to blow it all the way up to... A hundred! I'm so dizzy. And she got so tired that I had to swap OF girls and she took it all the way up to... 200 blows! It was getting so hard to... For an audience made up of mostly younger fans, this shift from family-friendly content to adult promotion feels like a betrayal. Parents and fans alike have voiced their concerns questioning why Jack would push this kind of content to such a young audience. What started as harmless fun has now led many to feel that Jack is prioritizing controversy and adult themes over the well-being of his fan base. So, where does that leave Jack Daugherty today? Once a beloved YouTube star, he's now constantly embroiled in controversy. From prioritizing content over safety, to using his security guard as muscle, to harassing people in public, and now promoting adult content to a young audience. Many fans feel that Jack has crossed too many lines. What used to be about about fun and entertainment has become a series of dangerous and morally questionable stunts, all for the sake of going viral. At the end of the day, the question remains, has Jack Daugherty lost touch with what made him famous in the first place? Is this just the cost of fame, or is he pushing the boundaries too far for the sake of views? Let us know what you think in the comments.